Hi guys, welcome to a new video in this channel. Today we're gonna have a very short video. We're coming out of this uh, amazing series, which by the way, thank you all for all of the comments, the likes, the shares on the on the latest series, the, the Cinematic Lamp. It has been a huge success. A lot of you have expressed that you really like the series, so we're gonna have more of the, those kind of things, but we're also gonna keep on doing some small videos here and there, tips and tricks, and just make sure to have a little bit of variance in our, in our channel. So, uh, today, guys, I want to talk about one thing that uh, some of, uh, someone in the comments suggested, which is, where do we start? We have a lot of courses, we uh, are focusing in, in CG tutorials, but h how would I start uh, my career as a 3D artist? Maybe you're, you're completely new and you are really not sure where to start, so I'm going to talk about uh, some of the courses that we have. So right now we have 28 courses up. Uh, this is one of the places where we upload things, which is uh, Udemy. And uh, there's 28 different courses. Uh, some of them are a little bit more specialized to specific things, and some of them are a little bit more general. So I'm going to talk about the ones that I've been participating in and the ones that I would recommend to someone who's new to 3D. So I started working uh, with you guys, with Next Tooth. Uh, I, I believe that was last year. And this was the first thing, the, the first one that we did, the My Environment Creation for Film. Now, this one is one that I'm really, really proud of because the concept that we developed is a very nice uh, piece of uh, environment. However, it is a little bit advanced. So I wouldn't recommend jumping on this one right now because it's uh, it's a little bit more for like intermediate level users. We do cover the basic stuff, but if you're just like completely new to Maya, then I would suggest uh, you wait a little bit before jumping on this one. The other one that I did was the Intro to Maya course, which is this one right here. By the way, the prices here, it shows them in, in pesos for me, in Mexican pesos, so it, they might be different in your country, just, just to let you know. Uh, I think Udemy just changes that way uh, everything works. So if you're completely new to 3D and you want to start with a complete package such as Maya, I strongly recommend this one right here, the Maya for Absolute Beginners Complete Course. We go over modeling, we go over texturing, UVs, uh, rendering, we do even a little bit of uh, like uh, BFX and stuff. So there's a little bit of everything and we uh, explore a lot of the tools that Maya has to offer. If you, however, want to join the ZBrush gang and you are really, really eager to jump into the sculpting world, then I strongly recommend the intro to ZBrush course, this one right here. Sivers 2021 course for absolute beginners. So this one right here, we cover most of the most useful or, or utilized tools inside of Sivers. We go over organic modeling, uh, mechanical modeling, we go over poly paint, posing, a little bit of lights, rendering, a little bit of everything. So again, those two courses would be my first recommendation for you guys. If you're completely new to TD, just pick the Sivers course or pick the Maya course and go from there. Once you have that, then you need to pick one of the things that you're going to be focusing on. Usually in the 3D world, we specialize in different areas of the, of the whole production pipeline. So uh, for uh, characters, or not characters, sorry, for, um, what's the word, for character artists, uh, there's two courses that I really like. This one right here, which is the Beginner's Guide to Stylist Character Creation for Games, which covers the whole pipeline of creating a character for games, retopology, texturing, UBEs, unwrapping, everything, 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 even ZBrush. And, uh, and we create this very nice soldier right here. We even do the weapons and stuff. And I also have this one, which... Uh, wink, wink, it's my favorite one. <laughs> the Beginner's Guide to Creature Creation for Games. Now, this one is uh, it's one of my favorites because you guys know I love fantasy. And when uh, we were planning this course and we developed this character right here, I was super excited about doing it. So, this one is super, super complete. We even go all the way into Unreal Engine 4. And I show you how this character goes into the engine. And it's pretty much ready to be rigged and animated and eventually uh, implemented in a game. Now, this one is a little bit of an intermediate course. So, again, I would strongly advise you to take the Seabrush the course first before jumping into something like this because we do go a little bit more into the into the advanced things. And if you're still new to the whole 3D pipeline, then it might be a little bit difficult to follow. Um, and, yeah, I mean, those are mainly the, the things that we have. We, we just released a couple of weeks ago the introduction to animation in Maya 2022, which right now has been... Uh, has been working very nicely, like a lot of people are liking it. This one is a, a, a basic level or basic to intermediate level animation course, specifically for people who want to learn the animation principles inside of Maya. Uh, we also have, of course, amazing tutorials from um, other uh, great artists, like this female character creation, which is also very famous. A lot of people have downloaded this one. This one's really new, the, the one with Anthony Hopkins, so very, very cool. Uh, so yeah, just make sure to jump in the comments here. You're going to find the link to, to the Udemy course. We also have, I believe it's uh, 
Is it Skillshare or Prolar site? I don't remember which is the other one is, but check with her, whichever way there, uh, whichever site you want, and both of them you're gonna find all of her content. And uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm getting ready for the next couple of series for the next couple of videos. So today is just kind of like a like a break day, just a small little bit of information for you guys. And tomorrow we'll come back with uh, with more. So make sure this video is important for me. Make sure to leave here in the comments what kind of thing would you like me to do. We're gonna jump into ZBrush. A lot of you people have been asking for ZBrush, so we're gonna start working something on ZBrush. But let me know what thing would you like. We can do like an environment piece. We could do maybe like a small character, like small monster or something. We could do uh, another prop if that's what you want to see let me know what you want to uh, uh, go into for the next uh, couple of projects and i'll be sure to take that into consideration that's it guys i wish you a good day today make sure you learn something new and i'll see you back tomorrow Bye bye